Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. Capacitors play a vital role in energy storing systems. Do you know what makes them ideal to perform their role? Well, it's the presence of the dielectric material in between the conducting plates. In this video, we're going to discuss what dielectric materials are and their properties. So let's get started. We all know that materials can be classified into conductors, semiconductors and insulators based on their electrical conductivity. Of these types, insulators are the materials that do not conduct electricity. Dielectrics are a type of insulators that do not conduct but can be polarized when an electricity is applied. To make it clear, let's first understand what an electric dipole is. As we know, there are two kinds of electric charges. One is positive and the other is negative. All matter is made of atoms that constitute of a positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electrons. In most of the cases, the center of the positive charges and the center of the negative charges coincide with each other. Whereas in some materials, they are separated by a small distance. When two equal and opposite electric charges are separated by a small distance, then it is said to form an electric dipole. The materials which exhibit this naturally are said to be permanent electric dipoles. Water, carbon dioxide and ammonia are few examples for permanent electric dipoles. On the other hand, few materials exhibit electric dipoles when an electric field is applied to it. Those materials are said to be induced dipoles. Coming back to the definition, a dielectric is an insulating material that has electrons tightly bound to the nucleus and so they do not conduct electricity. But it can be made to exhibit electric dipole structure. Let's see how this happens. Assume we have two conducting plates separated by a particular distance. When it is connected across a voltage, the plate connected with the positive terminal will get accumulated with positive charges and negative charges will accumulate at the other plate. This remains since there is no medium in between to conduct current. Now let us place a dielectric material in between the plates. At this time, positive charges in the dielectric will accumulate near the conducting plate with negative charge whereas the negative charges in the dielectric accumulate near the plate with positive charge. The process by which the dipoles in the dielectric align themselves when an electric field is applied is known as polarization. Polarization is of three types. They are electronic polarization, ionic polarization and orientation polarization. A dielectric material exhibits at least any one of these three types. Electronic polarization is the type in which the center of the negatively charged electrons displaces from the center of the positively charged nucleus. This polarization is noted in all types of dielectrics. Ionic polarization is found in ionic molecules. When a field is applied, the cations move in one direction, whereas the anions move in another direction. The third type of polarization is the orientation polarization. This type is only found in dielectrics with permanent dipoles. Here the electric dipoles in the dielectric will rotate in the direction of the applied field. Thus the total polarization in a dielectric will be the sum of all three that is electronic, ionic and orientation polarization. For selecting a dielectric material, its properties should be carefully considered. The first one is the permittivity of the dielectric material. Permittivity is defined as the ability of the material to store electrical charges when an electric field is applied. Next, in practical applications, we have alternating current that changes its direction. Whenever the direction of applied current changes, the dipoles reorient themselves according to it. This in turn requires time. The reciprocal of the minimum reorientation time taken by the dipoles is known as relaxation frequency. When the applied electric frequency is greater than relaxation frequency, then there will not be any reorientation. Also, there will be some loss due to absorption of electrical energy by dielectrics due to the applied alternating field. 
This is denoted as dielectric loss. A material exhibits its property only when it is operated within certain limits. Similarly, when a high electric field is applied, the electrons move to the conduction band and so dielectric materials lose their dielectric property. The maximum field that can be applied within which the dielectric retains its property is known as dielectric strength or breakdown strength. Dielectric materials are of different types. Solids like glass, mica, porcelain, liquids like oil, distilled water, and gases like dry air, nitrogen, and certain metal oxides can be used as dielectrics. In addition to this, vacuum present between the conducting plates can also serve as a dielectric medium. When it comes to applications, dielectrics are used in liquid crystal displays, oscillators, laser printers, etc. So that's it for this video guys, we'll meet up again in the next one. Until then, bye!